what is this thing I wear upon my head, this thing I wear upon my chest, this lightness, this armor, this niceness. It's so awesome. G'day everyone, welcome to another video by DFT, my name is Andrew Cook and of course you've already read it so you know that the video is about an EVO foam tutorial for beginners. So most of you know that I work with EVO foam and styrofoam for building props and armor. Now everything you're about to see in this video is just simple, very basic techniques which were all used in creating this. Nothing extra, nothing too fancy, nothing top secret, it's all out there, it's all common knowledge and for those of you who haven't had hands on them practice or time with this material, this will definitely assist you in creating and getting out there and trying something for yourself. So enough talking and having me on the camera, you know what's that? Here you go guys. Now first up, tools. Basic stationary applies when using this material, so heat guns, pens and pencils, hot glue guns, craft knives and lots of them. Now when carving EVA foam, you just want to do nice clean slices down through the material, no rigid kind of crisp crossing, zigzagging cuts, just nice, clean slicing things. Now levels are, of course, well, levels, something that distinguishes two different heights. You can achieve this pretty well with EVA foam by cutting out segments within the foam and raising them or uh, heightening them, depending on what the design is you're trying to achieve. As you can see here, I made a few quick slices, pulled out the interior, and I can now adjust it to whatever different height I'd like, whether that be down or up. This is a very clever technique you can use in designing um, 3D objects with this material, and then you can just apply some hot glue to the side that isn't going to be visible. Now bevels is a unique word that usually applies to something that has a slanted edge. Now here I like to use it to create 45 degree angles to give your design a bit more of a 3D depth. It also creates a nice kind of clean edge and some designs uh, actually require to have this. So this is a nice little unique way of doing that using a sharp blade. Now this technique here is, I just called it top cut edge because it is literally you're cutting from the top and merging two items together. This is for those designs that require you to get strange angles where it can't be done using a heat gun. So what we do is we cut a very nice clean line and then we cut for those beveled 45 degree angles on the underneath side where it won't be shown. The undercut edging is where we do the exact opposite. Instead of cutting straight down the material, we're going to make a small kind of incision on the back of it where it won't be seen and then we can do the beveling on the um, interior and then allow it to create a nice fold seam. Now this is a different kind of technique. It doesn't create a precise and very fine line, but it does create a nicer look that doesn't give off that kind of cut appearance if you haven't sanded it up or bonded it. And with all the EVA foam, you can just use your standard hot glue just to assemble the pieces together. And hot glue will usually solidify and keep it pretty well secure for the duration of its life. Unless you want to pull it apart for some odd reason, then yes, it will, will not hold. Now this little technique is used a lot now these days with EVA foam. You create a small little incision in the pattern on the EVA foam that you'd like. You don't cut all the way through like we have been before. We just do very small incisions. You can then take your heat gun to it and the EVA foam will expand, allowing those lines to become more open 
and it gives off a really nice effect, especially from a distance, those patterns become more substantial and can take on a really nice appearance. Now as you can see, once combined and put together, all those little techniques that I have just shown you really can make an effective design. They're very simple, very easy to do, and when you combine it, it really can pull off something quite impressive. Now if you're wanting to take it a step further and really get a professional look out of the foam or want to learn more about what you can do to this material, there are other artists out there on YouTube and on Facebook who are producing amazing material. One of them is an awesome guy, Bill Duran from Punished Props. If you haven't followed him, he's produced an awesome array of ebooks assisting you guys in producing and getting the best out of materials. You can now go check those out, download them for yourself, buy them for yourself. The link to his website will be below or check out um, Punished Props on Facebook for his daily updates. And yeah, you can definitely learn how to make something even better than this, like, like 10 times better than this. It's very cool. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you can go out and make something unique, make something yourselves, or you can get ready and prepare yourself for more tutorials that are coming where I actually tackle this Destiny Titan and now you have the ability to follow along. Cheers and I'll catch you later.